screens like that on both sides. It's a small room, yeah. but it really works for tele, uh, teleconferencing very so nicely. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. So you're going to edit it anyways if you need it. No, it'll just be that what it is. <laughs> okay. But if you mess up, we'll edit it. You know. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, you won't need to. Won't need to do that. All right. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the USC Graduate Certificate in Engineering Technology Commercialization. This is a new certificate we have at USC, and you might be uh, heard a little bit about it, but let me just give you the big scoop. All right. So. Essentially, what are we talking about? We're talking about technology commercialization, which is the process of going from some idea, some innovation, going over into the marketplace, either creating a new product within a company or starting a new product. What does that involve? Well, there's a lot of obstacles in, uh, that you have to overcome. And essentially, what is that? Well, technology feasibility. First of all, will it work? I mean, you may have a nugget of an idea, but there may be other aspects that need to work for the technology to be uh, applicable for a real product. Then it, will it cost too much to make? These are all aspects of what we call technology feasibility. Would it make a good product? Who are you going to sell it to? Market identification. Um, so who is your market and how big is it? is it? Is it just thousands of dollars? Is it millions of dollars? Is it billions of dollars? Okay, It's all relevant and you need to understand that. So you need to gauge who your customers are and uh, how likely they are to, to purchase this product. So that's market identification and, and how big it is, market analysis. Financial analysis, looking at all these aspects together, can we make a business out of it? Looking at how much money we can bring in, looking at uh, how much money it will cost to make it, how much money it would cost to distribute the product, all these aspects uh, are necessary. And as an engineer, we normally don't think about these things. So the idea of uh, the USC Stevens educational program is to help students understand the issues of this, specifically targeting engineers and science students. So we want USC Stevens to be able to make, enrich the idea, promote the idea, and make the hurdles that required to go into the marketplace smaller. And the idea we want to do is to stimulate new and bold ideas. We want to reduce the barriers through education and networking, and we want to enable you to start and grow a business or a new, a new product. Specifically, what we've created is a certificate program. It's designed for engineers that are out there. Maybe they've been working for two, three, four years, and they want to get an understanding more of the business side of what they're doing, or if they want to tack it on to a PhD program or to a master's program. The required courses, uh, as you can see here, we have some courses in the business school here, the USC Business School, as well as in the engineering school. Uh, Marshall School's got a great business program. Uh, and the course we picked out here for this is BAEP 551 Introduction to New Ventures, which gives you an overview of entrepreneurship. And we mix engineers and business students in this class. We also have, straight out of our ISC department, an idea of how to manage the technology, how to manage your patent portfolio, what to do with it, thinking of patents and IP as a valued entity of, of a company. In electives, we have a number of different electives, also within engineering, dealing with quality management, business plans, that's modern enterprise systems, engineering project management, management of engineering teams, the whole process of an invention in technology development, as well as a new course that we started this semester uh, that's taught by the USC Law School. Jennifer Urban in the law school teaches this course. Intellectual property law for engineers and scientists. So we have a law prof teaching specifically everything that you as an engineer or a scientist need to understand. Okay? And, w and this one, right now, I will, uh, for the students taking it this semester, it is available for the certificate through a 25% substitution rule that we have for certificates, uh, uh, for all programs essentially. Uh, but this will eventually become an elective in the program. And so if you're interested in taking this next year, certainly look for it because. Uh, Got great feedback on, on these sets of courses. So that's essentially what, what the program's involved. It is a 12-unit certificate. You can do it in one year, uh, or you can spread it out over four semesters if you care to. Uh, if you have more 
questions about this, there will be links on the DEN website to contact me, Peter Burrell. I'm the uh, faculty director of the uh, USC Stevens Educational Programs, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, essentially, we're very excited about these things. Uh, the, the president of the university has said that USC Stevens has the ability to, to transform this university into one where we think more, uh, more directly at the process of getting our ideas out into the marketplace, and we want you to be part of it. Thank you very much.